It was awesome. Very, very tough race for everybody. Now, let's uh, move. Uh, you're happy to stay with me or I'm going to put you... I may have to head out. Oh, no, really? I know, but I'll definitely watch the start of this because yes, it's going to be it, excellent. It's the men's C1 and, uh, again, gee, there's some class in this field. We've got the Hungarian Balas Adolf, who's a marathon world champion. We've got Carlo Tacchini from Italy, who's had a busy weekend as well. We've got Manfred Palinger from Austria. The, the Cubans always do very, very well in this event uh we have adam rudolph from the czech republic and we've got some bloke called sebastian brendel <laughs> from germany who loves the 5000 and he will love getting the chance we heard the crowd earlier this week when he won the bronze yes so funny last year he came up to me and he said why are we doing a portage i'm a canoeer not a runner <laughs> but here he is doing it again there he is and there he is there <laughs> he looks like a uh, means business and and now uh, connor fitzpatrick who was with katie when they won the, uh, the mixed earlier today tell us a little bit, a little bit about connor Connor is such a strong athlete and he loves paddling and is so, just so strong and so talented. He works insanely hard. He puts in the hours and puts in the work and he is just so deserving of being here and, and getting Olympic quota spots. Well, we saw a very tactical race in the women's. Mm -hmm. What will happen here? I'm expecting uh, Ballas Adolf. He'll be the athlete that most will be watching because he is a marathon champion. He's also done very well over the 5,000, so he will be one to watch in his men's canoe. Don't underestimate the Cubans. Certainly don't underestimate Sebastian Brendel in front of his home crowd. And don't underestimate, by the way, also Victor Glasnow from Poland, and uh, who's been paddling well all week. We know he's in a good place. And Sergei Tanoski from Moldova. And there we go already. There's a little bit of a little bit of bumper cars, bumper canoes happening out there on the course. <laughs> But yep. right across the field, we have a field of 30 in the men's canoe. So uh, early on, you just want to make get yourself in a position where you're not going to get into trouble. Yeah, that's the main goal for the first at least 300 metres, is just make sure you're in a position that won't hit anyone, won't get in the way, and you can continue focusing on the race. So at this stage, it looks like at the top, I can see uh, the paddler from Portugal. Uh, it was a bulk area, I think, by the way. Like Giorgio from bulk area getting himself into good position. Looks like Sebastian Brendel coming across to, to get into a good posse, coming down to the first corner. You can see the top three sort of making their group. Getting into, uh, get, and there you can see Brendel Tarnowski in front of him. No love lost between those two, by the way. They, oh! Oh, Victor's making a move on that one. Saw so an opening. Look at that. Uh, Tarnowski, Glasnow, and Brendel. What's happened to Sebastian Brendel? Looks like oh, he got like a pretty crazy turn there. He got thrown off his rhythm. I think he was surprised to see Tarnowski cra crash into the boy and... Uh, and save it. <laughs> and save it. Maybe he thought that uh, Tarnowski might have fallen in the water. But no, he recovered. So it's uh, Tarnowski and Glasnow in front. Brendel sitting in third. There is Tarnowski. Sergei Tarnowski. Sitting at the moment, he is the uh, Olympic bronze medalist from Tokyo in the 1,000. Right behind him, Victor Glasnow from Poland. And you can see then Brendel, and I think that is Pele Kadova, the Cuban, who is there with Brendel. So, top two, front two, and it is a, it is, uh, the young Cuban. He's only 22 years of age. Pele Kadova sitting on Brendel's outside. But at the front, it is Tarnowski leading from Glasnow from Poland. I'm trying to remember Glasnow's portage ability. I feel like he might have struggled earlier on in the year with the portage, but I'm sure he's been practicing. Yeah, I don't quite remember. I was actually his partner at Super Cup last year for our, our race, and so I wouldn't underestimate him. He's got a lot of fight in him. I'm sure he uh, soaked up a little bit a little bit of the Sophie Jensen aura. <laughs> Probably turned him into the paddler that he is today. No. <laughs> so coming now to the second bend in the men's C1 5000. That is Sergei Janowski from Moldova in front. This is like, oh my oh, goodness. Brendel and the Cuban. They keep on smashing boats on these turns. Yeah, Cordova just getting in each other's way a little bit. There. 
you don't mess, you don't mess with the master. Nope. <laughs> uh, Jose, you might want to watch out who you're bumping into there. We're coming down now to the first portage, and it's Tarnowski and Glasnow who will go in first. A really good battle now for third. It's the Cuban now. Oh, someone just went in over on the corner over there, just oh, the beginning. Yes, I can see that. Now you can see oh. that in the back there. There's uh, someone who's gone in the water on the second turn of the event. Can't see at this stage who it is, but we'll get back to that in just a moment. But here we are, the first portage. Let's see what their portage see form it. is like. Oh, and, oh my the pole. goodness. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh he's going to... Oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> he oh, is yeah. just no fear. not happy. He's not happy. He's, he's <laughs> no. sitting there. He's, he's, he's going to... I can sense some revenge coming there's, somewhere there's in this gonna race. It's going to be like, wherever you're going to put your boat now, I'm going to put mine on top of you. So, oh, yeah. Look at this. He's hunting him down now. He is definitely oh. hunting. That was Victor clearly. No oh, the Cubans the just Cubans also just getting no fear. everybody's way as well. <laughs> Sebastian Brendel wisely at the back there. And there's Adolf oh, from Hungary. Now he has slipped. He's got into the mix here. I'm surprised he wasn't there at the start, but he is now into that mix. But wow. Victor Glasnow doing nothing for international relations between Poland and Moldova. <laughs> Not only hitting him in the head, but also just resting his boat on his back for a little bit. And oh, it's oh. a Canadian. Oh uh, no, that's that's not Connor. Oh, it's got a maple leaf on it. It's, that's Laurence's old boat, actually. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. It's nice to see it around still. It's yeah, why wouldn't nice you? Boat. Why wouldn't you cover up the maple leaf? I'm not sure. <laughs> a little confusing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's see. We've got, well, that's now out in front, but he's got a target on his back. Tarnowski yeah. is hunting him down. Look at him. Definitely. You Look can it. sense it. You yeah, can I, can see, I can see the anger fumes <laughs> coming out of his hat. <laughs> and, then, and then you've got the Cuban. Oh, he Cordova. ran into the buoy there, but he oh. saved him. It's all good. He and seems to be doing that. Cordova, who's got no respect for anybody. Nope. In third, the next portage is going to be very ugly. I could just see what's going to uh, happen. Yes. It could be, it could, I predict oh. someone's going to end up in the water. Yeah, I, yes, uh, this it, Cuban just has no, uh, he's just here to get a spot. And I, I reckon if you were Sebastian Brindle, you'd be sitting there now and you go, and Ballas Adolf, two very experienced paddlers, I think they're just thinking, you I'm, guys go and smash each other yeah, about. Yeah, I think they're waiting it out. Just smash each other about, and then when you're lying, Sitting in the water, we'll just paddle past you. Yep. And we'll throw you back your, your paddle. Definitely. These definitely seem to be a chaotic triple group up here. Look at Tarnowski. He's moved up on the inside of Glass now. Yeah. Just to say, well, you can hit me in the head with your boat, but I'm still going to be here. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to the next portage already. Me too. The Cuban Cordova, he is just on the outside. We know that he will get in somebody's way at the next portage. And there's Brendel. And Adolf just they're biding looking, their time. Yeah, they're looking pretty relaxed. I would say they definitely are waiting it out. They can sense the chaos up front. And Randall's think, done this so many times. He, yeah. he would know what's going to say, well, there's three boats there. They're all going to go around the corner at the same time. It's yeah. going to end badly for them. And then I'll just slip through and become world champion. Definitely. Brendel now moving to bridge the gap between the front three and oh. Here we go around the corner. Right. There's a chance for the Moldovan to tip the pole into the water. Sebastian <laughs> Brendel not cornering the best I've seen in the corner. He's... Oh. He seems, I feel like I don't sense any panic quite yet. I know I'm just over here, but I don't sense the panic. I can kind of... He's looking pretty relaxed. Oh, they seem to have passed each other up there. And look at Grendel trying to sneak through yeah. now. Uh, he's just going to add to the confusion. Yeah, exactly. Goodness. All right, let's see what this portage is going to oh, be. Oh, folks. oh no, they've already hit each other off. So... Uh, the pole and the Cuban look like they're going on one side. Brendel, I don't know if you'd want to be part of that, Sebastian. If I was you, I'd just hold back. Don't be part of the mess. Yeah, I would agree. This seems three, pretty good. Four good. boats going to one side. The Victor Cuban... is just... Oh, no, oh. he's his boat. Oh, they both... oh my goodness. So, oh, so my... Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew oh, no. it. I predicted it. I oh, <laughs> my gosh. And Sebastian, was that a laugh? Did I see him smiling? <laughs> he uh, seems to have lost his boat number in the chaos. Oh, all of them did, actually. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Nope, not surprised either. I did predict that somebody would go in Somebody. The water. See his jump back in? He jumped over his boat onto yep. the dock again. And now Adolf gets in there and just makes a big more of a mess. 
goodness. I said that somebody would go in the water, and there it was. Oh, oh no, he's no. got on the wrong side of the boat. <laughs> He's all over the place. He's all over the place. It's okay. There's still a while to go. He's got a bit focused now. He's got to get back out there. That group is definitely making a move out there, though. Yep. A group of four. A group of five has become a group of four. So, and look at the quality of that group of four. You've got, you've got two Olympic medalists there and uh, a world champion marathon paddler. <laughs> So and, nice to see so many fans and, out yeah, here. Yeah, and one of the form canoe men's canoe paddlers in the world. Let's have a look here. This is oh. they had no reason to go. Oh, in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Victor uh, has just no care for his boat in this one. He's just in it to run as fast as possible. Yeah. So right, the bunch of four. So Tarnowski now back in front. Glasgow. Sitting with him and Adolf and Brendel now. So four into three does not go. We've got a long way to go though. We've still, yeah. got, we've still got three more portages. Anything can yeah, happen. Anything can happen. This is a good group of four up here. Oh, yes. And we have Tarnowski, who, of course, uh, finished third in Rio, but then had the medal taken away from him after a positive drug test. Oh, Served a four-year ban, but because the Olympics were put back a year, he was actually able to compete in the next Olympics. It was quite right. a bizarre situation. Crazy. And now he's back paddling. And Sebastian Brendel there sitting now back in fourth, just letting these three whippersnappers. Yeah. He looks very relaxed, very... Yeah, you can tell in his face he's looking pretty relaxed, pretty chill. Oh, Interesting. I wonder if he backs himself in a sprint. I I would think if it comes down to a sprint, I, I would like to have my money on the pole, Glasnow. He's he's very very fast. So yeah. I think that the rest of the field would not want to be in a position oh. where they're having to sprint for the finish line alongside yeah. Glasnow. Of course, it will depend a lot on how much power they've got left at the end of a 5k race. Definitely. But we're coming down now for. Here they come. Another bend, and it is... The Moldovan now has shuffled out the back, so it looks like it's a bit of a change here. Yeah. It's now the Hungarian who's gone to the front. Palos Adolf, right behind him, it is Viktor Glasnow. He is from holding on. Poland and Sebastian Brendel biding his time there, the master. The senior third. Tanowski, well, maybe he's... Maybe he's just holding back and letting the other three get yeah. up to the portage first. He's in a pretty tough spot, though, in regards to their wash. So when the, all three of them are like that, that wash tends to suck you backwards. So I would, if I were him, I would try to get out of that position as quick as possible. So coming down now for the third of five portages, and it is Ballas at off. Oh, my and God. Look tight there. That's very tight. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a chance here for Brendel to get one on the head. No. Oh, no, in the, in the shins. In the shins. In the shins. In the shins. <laughs> I feel like he's just laughing out there. I don't know when you laugh when you get hit in the shins, but... I tell you what, Victor Glasnov, he could have he could have done some serious <laughs> damage if he wanted to. If he wanted to. I think he was very generous because... He's got a kind heart, clearly. He wedged his boat in between <laughs> the dock and uh, and Ballas Adolf's boat. He could have forced his boat out, and, uh, yeah. but he chose not to, so... I I'm loving know. this portage chaos out here. Yeah. Anyway, whilst all that's been happening, <laughs> we, uh, we now have a group of three because Tarnowski is fallen off the pace a little bit. Maybe he's maybe his race has been run and won. And, oh. oh, a little bit of uh, jostling there between Sebastian Brendel and Victor Glasnow. So it's the Hungarian, Balas Adolf, in front. The pole, Victor Glasnow, in second. Sebastian Brendel sitting there in third position, as he has been for much of the race. I'd like to see the replay of that portage, because I think that Victor Glasnow missed an opportunity. I think he missed an opportunity to make it life very difficult. I agree. The rest of this field is looking nice and spread out and relaxed. Yep. Yep. Much easier when there's a group of three than a group of four, isn't it, Sophie? Yes. The group of four is definitely tough. Oh, no. Looking like a 
rough turn here. Flash oh now is pushing Brendel out to Dusseldorf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is going to be a wide turn for them. Not happy about that. No. Oh, fun. my goodness. Where is Glasno going? Maybe his rudders, maybe there's a problem with his boat of some sort. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's, the rudder got broken off. The rudder there. got broken off a long time ago. But uh, he's, I don't know where he's going. Where's the That was going? a tough turn. It looked like Brendel got a bit behind him and started to nudge the end of his boat the other direction. So it's... That's always tough on the turn. So Tarnowski is still trying to hang on. He's a little bit back, though, but uh, there is this group of three at the front. Oh, my goodness. What is Brendel happening here? Just I think hated it's a... him. It might be te te technique here. I have no really? idea. What is happening? What, what, is, what is going on here? This is... Um... Um, well, Brendel is currently on a harder side to wash ride, Victor. So I would say it's probably not intentional. It's probably an accident. <laughs> but it, it actually looks like Victor Glasnow is trying to force Brendel off the course. I can't tell here. It's very disrespectful. <laughs> Three times of a big gold medalist, but... I don't know how long Brendel will put up with this. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. He, I don't think he'll put up with it much longer. No, no. In fact, we're going to see if something happen very soon, I think, because we're coming yeah. up to the next bend. Now Glasgow moves right. across closer the to the turn. This is a pretty tough position to be on. Brendel would um, be much better on the other side of Victor, I would say. Yeah, for sure, because Glasnow's got the front yeah. position. Yeah, he's, he's, like, keeping his position by staying there. So, whilst that bit of shenanigans has been happening behind, we've had Ballas at all, and what's going on here? He's pushing him out again. <laughs> no idea. Sebastian Brendel has ended up in the Netherlands. I know, I'm oh, surprised oh. he's... Yeah, I think Not Brendel, I think Brendel will want to make a move here on this point. He's had enough of this nonsense. Oh, yeah. He just wants to get away from this Polish <laughs> nonsense that's been thrown his way. But all of this is happening while Balos Adolf is securing his lead at the moment. He's quite happy to see that going on behind him. Yeah, he's been he's doing quite well. He's looking very calm, even though Victor's yep. tried to kill him a few times on the portal. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Uh, Oh! Excellent climb out of the boat there for... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Is that any way to treat it? Oof. And Brendel now, he's, oh, he's gripping his teeth. Yeah, he's there's looking no, mad. There's no smiling where he's thinking, right, I'm after you. This is not knocking me about. Stop pushing me off, of course. Quite fair enough, I must say. Uh, yeah. So Adolf in the water first. Glasnow in behind him. Now Brendel finds himself staring at the back of the Polish paddler again. And Tarnotsky, well, he's got a bit of work to do if he wants to get back up in the hunt for the medals. But it's the Hungarian in front. He's a very experienced paddler. It will take some running down now to get in front of Balas Adolf. The Hungarian marathon paddler. He's, oh, somebody just went in on the turn. Somebody else has gone in here right in front of us. Oh, no. Can't see which country that is. We'll get you an update in just a moment. But... It is Balas Adolf in front. It is Victor Glasnow sitting in second. Sebastian Brendel third. And Sergei Tarnowski has dropped right off now. He's dropped out of that race for the medals. You would think it's a long way between him and the rest of the field. So has the race been run? And for Glasnow and Brendel, uh, they, they spent so much energy so far on that last lap fighting with each other. Yeah. Maybe it was uh, Victor's strategy out here. I'm not sure how he's playing this. Well, I suppose if you were thinking, okay, who's going to be the biggest threat in the run to the medals, in, in the run home, you would have to think this the experience of Brendel in front of a home crowd. Yeah, yeah. why not take him out early? Why not make <laughs> it hard for him? So, Oh, he's going in pretty hard there. It is. So Brendel still just biding his time. Yeah. What have we had now? Is that uh, is that four portages we've had? So we've got one to go, I think. One to go. All right. I know I said I'd leave at the beginning of this, but it's just too exciting. Yeah, no, you can't go anywhere. I can't stay. go. <laughs> you've got to stay here. I, I'm seeing now, in, uh, and I'm sure you can see it, you're better than me, So, but Balas Adolf is looking pretty comfortable out in front, isn't it? He's, yep, he's, he's he had, is. He stayed out of trouble when it, wherever there's been trouble, and uh, yeah. and now he's looking very, very relaxed. He's been very lucky up there, for sure. Definitely a little rough here being stuck in the wash from this other paddler. It's gonna, I feel like it might throw him off a little, but he's looking so solid and confident. I think it's going to be good. So this is where you don't want to be. This is uh, coming up alongside 
stragglers in the field getting in your way. And look at Brendel, he's making a move. Brendel oh. is making a move. He's making a move on Glasnow when they've, they've run into a slower paddler. So oh. Brendel's decided now is the time. Yep. And he's moved into second. Oh, my. Oh, no. Brendel. Yep. He, he played that right. He Perfect that time. Right. That is the experience yep. of the veteran. And look at Glasnow. Right he's in there. all sorts of trouble now. He is trying to hang on. But with every stroke, Sebastian Brendel, listen to the crowd. They've seen what's happened. It's happened right in front of them. They can see that their hero, their hero, Sebastian Brendel, is sitting in second position. I hope you can hear that at home, folks. The crowd, they're lifting now. They're singing. They're jumping up and down. They've got their shirts off, some of the blokes, and that's a sight we don't want to see. But... Yep, if I was up there in the front, I would be pretty nervous at this point. Uh, if you're looking over your shoulder and you saw Sebastian Brendel. Yep, an icon in this sport. So we're coming down now. Let's see this all-important final portage. As we've always seen, Adol nice. getting out early. He's Sebastian had a Brendel. very... He likes to go all the way to the end of the dock. You can see that marathon experience, can't you, with Palace yeah. Brendel's yeah. right on him. Oh, right. Yes. Listen, listen to him cheering. Listen to him. <laughs> He's, he knows what he's, he's doing. He's found time to pump up the crowd. <laughs> what the heck? Look at him now. He's, gonna, he's in the water. Is he going to head off first? He's going to be in his boat oh. first. And Adolf gets in where there's so much traffic. So much traffic there. This, I'm not sure about this move. Was that, that, a, was that a cocky a cocky thumping of the air? I'm was not that, sure. <laughs> was that the thumping of the air of a man who knows he's got this race in the bag? Surely not, because Bellas Adolf is a champion. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, to be fair, it is Sebastian Brendel, and he has done this a million times. Uh, and just taking the time to pump the air <laughs> and to get the crowd whipped up. And they're going to have to be at their very best now, the crowd, to get him over the line because Ballas Adolf is trying to put some distance between himself now and Sebastian Brendel. It's going to come into a race down the final straight. And I'd like to think wow. that Sebastian Brendel knows what he's doing. Imagine... If he pumps the crowd when he's halfway through a race, imagine what he's going to do when he gets he to the He must race. have something in the bag in he order to do that. He must know something. <laughs> he must know something. Something's up his sleeve for sure. Maybe he read the script before he got in the boat <laughs> and he knows how this movie ends. But he's right there on Ballas Adolf's shoulder. It's going to be a oh. sprint to the finish. Oh, tight turn there. Look at that. that Looks is, good. There is nothing in this. Righto, Sebastian Brendel. Yeah. Let's see what you've got because Ballas Adolf is in front. This is a sprint to the finish line now. Oh, here comes Victor. Glasnov desperately trying to get in touch, but Adolf now may be moving ahead. So Sebastian Brendel may have been punching the SA. What do you guys think about me winning the silver medal? Wow. Because Bellas Adolf, I don't know that he's going to be hauled in from there. Sebastian Brendel yeah, now. He's, he's making the, his move. He's digging he's got, He can definitely hear him right behind him. He's probably a little stressed out now. So Adolf in Ooh. front. What do you, who, who looks the tighter, so? I'm going to have to say Moldova and Hungary looks a little tired at this point, but he's held such a good lead here, so I'm really not sure how this could play out. Uh, and Grendel is throwing everything at him. Yeah. He does not seem to be making up a lot of ground here. I think that it's going to be a Hungarian goal. Grendel having I, one oh last my goodness. Hit. I think, yeah, this is crazy. Balas Adolf. He's that fighting is, hard. He's he fighting really hard. is. He's going to take the gold, I think. He's, he's coming think. down to the finish line now. Oh, we don't, oh, we don't oh want the turns. Him. There's still quite a few people turning here. Yeah, yeah. we don't want... Please don't get in the way. Oh, don't my gosh. Get in the way. Oh, my gosh. Don't get in the way. He's got it. Oh, he's, he's got in the way. Oh, no. I knew that. No. Anyway, it wouldn't have mattered. It nope. would have made no difference at all. Very, very good race. Ballas you can tell he wanted all. it. Sebastian Brendel. <laughs> He's pretty happy. So exciting. I think that's a win for Sebastian Brundle anyway. He pushed so hard. He played it safe, stayed out of the chaos, and still finished in second position. I think that's incredible. Victor class now. Same with Victor. Even though he was a chaos creator, he managed to pull through. And... He was a chaos creator. <laughs> but he stayed with it. And Sergei Tanoski now coming in. He'll take fourth. But what a race, what a gold medal there for Ballas Adolf. 
He's, he took his time, didn't panic at the start, got left behind a little bit, but just a bit like Katie Vincent, just worked his way through the field. Yeah. And when it was there, a race for four, race between four, or I think it was five athletes at one stage. Doesn't look like any hard feelings. I think we're good. Was there? Was there a shaking of the hands? <laughs> no, it look it looks like smiles from each person. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That is good to see. No off-screen revenge will happen. No. I think we'll be good. <laughs> no. Not at this stage, anyway. But it's been careful in case the cameras are still on them. <laughs> a bit of chat going on between them, but I think it's friendly chat. I think friendly. Now there's our swimmer. I did predict that somebody Very would go nice. for a swim and in he went. <laughs> um, Crazy save, though, by jumping right out of the water. And straight in. Right. Yep. yep. Straight in, straight out. No so quick. No time to get wet. Nope. Oh, awesome race. He wanted it and he got it. That was so great. A fantastic, uh, a fantastic uh, canoe performance for the Hungarians. A gold and a silver this afternoon. For this start. Such a big start. So many people. I would say the start is definitely one of the most stressful parts of a whole podcast. I'm just I'm really surprised that more people don't fall in. And there's yeah. already the Cuban there niggling away at Sebastian yeah. Rendell. Oh, <laughs> this is where, this, this, is is where well, this is where, oh my goodness. Oh that. my God. <laughs> Yeah, Victor has no shame in No shame run. at all. He's just saying, well, if you're that slow, I'm just going <laughs> to knock you out of the way. Oh, my gosh. But for being such a chaos creator, I can't believe he pulled it off. No, and then here we have the Cuban deciding that it was a bit hot and he felt like he needed to cool down just a little bit. So what am I going to do? I'll just jump in here. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, this jump out was crazy. Yeah. Yep. And that gave the opportunity for the Hungarian Balas Adolf to move into the lead and take over and to once he was in front he was, it's going to be a tough ask to see anybody get ahead of him congratulations to Hungary congratulations to Sebastian Brendel silver medal and in a moment we'll hear from Balas Adolf our gold medalist yeah. great race all around beautiful conditions so for racing. Look at that. Look yes. at Rick. Look at it. <laughs> this is the moment. I loved that he's, moment. <laughs> he's revving up the crowd and the crowd. He knows. They were revved up. Oh, that's so awesome. They were revved up. Yeah, look at that, Sebastian oh. Reynolds, the master. Maybe yes. maybe that's him. He Maybe he knows this is the last time he'll be Honestly, racing in front of the Duisburg crowd. Yeah. It's just so awesome to have such an incredible paddler and someone who loves the sport so much and will take the time out of a 5k to hype up the crowd yeah. <laughs> that's and, just incredible and, and he is you know we saw him after the, the c1 uh, uh, you know he's loved being here and i'm sure this probably is the last time he'll race you never know at a you world always think that and then yeah. he's always back you i'll never be know. surprised <laughs> if the next time he comes to duisburg he's still going around but <laughs> he may well be at more world championships but i don't know that he'll be at duisburg again he's just a great role model to have around in this in this sport and well i'm sure you grew up watching him Pat, i did yeah i looked up to him my whole life i still do i mean he's so awesome he trains hard works hard and has such a great attitude see no no hard feelings well, Looks good. <laughs> sort of like a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of what do you what did you do to me don't you know this is these are my people these are my people so there's confirmation Bellas Adolf, the world champion, and a worthy world champion at that. Sebastian Brendel, the silver medal. I have Victor Glasnow from Poland. A good race. He worked hard and taking the bronze medal. So, fantastic performance. Thank you, Soph. I know I have to let you go. Yes. Thank you so I, my much. My kayak knowledge isn't as great.